Welcome to Nook and Cranny Gaming. My name is Nook, and in this guide I'm going to show you how to complete Cirrus's questline in Dark Souls 3. Right off the bat, you need to know that if you're trying to complete Cirrus's questline, you're not going to be able to join Rosaria's fingers. If you do become a finger of Rosaria, you'll find Cirrus in the Firelink Shrine standing up against you. She'll say that your paths differ too much, and that the next time you meet, it will be as adversaries. Oh, she's so mad. Look, you're so mad! Hey, how you, how you doing, Andre? You, you okay back there? Uh, Alright, all right, I'll just let you be. Now on with Cirrus' questline. Once you reach the Halfway Fortress bonfire where you first meet Henri and Horus, head back to the Firelink Shrine and you'll find a woman sitting on the stairs. This is Cirrus. And I know what you're thinking, but she immediately shuts you down, so just, just put that out of your head. She's not here for that. She has her own ambitions and goals, so... So we'll just be leaving now. And after your first encounter, you'll have to get the Dream Chaser's ashes in order to see her again. In order to get these ashes, you need to head right from the end of the Poison Swamp. Up against a tall tower, you'll find a ladder. At the top of the ladder, take a right and head around the building and up the stairs. Here you'll find a... Ooh, a Crystal Lizard. Damn it. Anyway, back at the top of the stairs, you'll find an illusory wall. And here are the Dream Chaser's ashes. Head back to the Firelink Shrine and give the ashes to the Shrine Handmaiden. She'll tell you how terrible they are, but for us, they'll do just nicely. Reload the Firelink Shrine or leave and come back, and you'll find Cirrus sitting on the stairs again. She says she's heard about all the good that you're doing and she wants to help you. Now you'll be able to find her summon signs outside of certain boss fights. But also she'll give you the Dark Moon Loyalty Gesture, which you can use in the Prison Tower outside of the Aldrich fight in order to become a Blade of the Dark Moon. The next step in Cirrus' questline lies in Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. Head across the bridge and... Man, I hope there's not a giant chaos dog behind me. Damn it. And you'll need to defeat the chaos dog. He's not an easy fight, and as long as you have the doll from the Deacon's fight, you can go ahead and head across the bridge and fight him later. But as you can see, the only path to victory is to... die, die again. But through perseverance and bleed damage, you'll defeat the Chaos Dog and receive Pontiff's right eye. Next, head to the end of the bridge, rest at the bonfire, and then head back across the bridge. Where you find the message saying that you need a doll to enter Irithyll, you'll find a summon sign. Accepting the summon will take you into Cirrus' world, where you help her fight off a phantom invader, Crichton the Wanderer. After defeating the phantom, Cirrus will thank you, and once you head back to your world, Head to the Firelink Shrine and you'll find Cirrus there. She thanks you again for your help and says that she would not have made it alone. After this, you will receive the Blessed Mailbreaker and the Silver Cat Ring. And for our final encounter with Cirrus, you'll have to have defeated the Curse Rotted Greatwood as well as Aldrich. Once these two are defeated, head back to the entrance of the Curse Rotted Greatwood fight. Here you'll find another summon sign to go and help Cirrus. Except this time you'll find yourself in the Pit of Hollows fighting a man named Holy Knight Hodrick. This fight is not easy, and it took me a few tries to get through it. But don't worry, if you fail, you'll just summon right back in and try again. Upon Hodrick's defeat, you'll be sent back to your world and receive the Mound Maker's Covenant item if you didn't get it before the Curse Rotted Greatwood fight. I show you how to get the Mound Maker's Covenant item before the Curse Rotted Greatwood in this video here. After helping her defeat Hodrick, head back to the Firelink Shrine and meet with Cirrus again. Here, she'll pledge her loyalty to you as a knight. Accepting it will make sure that she shows up when certain phantoms invade your game, as well as having her summon sign through the rest of the game for boss fights. But wait, there's more! Because after Hodrick's defeat outside of the Firelink Shrine next to everybody's favorite undead to kick off a cliff, you'll find the Sunset Shield, which is the final piece of Lucatil's armor set, which you can also get in this guide here. Make sure to check out my other Dark Souls 3 videos here, and check out my new series, Explained. The first episode's all about how Zelda might actually be the villain of our own game series. If you liked the video, let me know down below. I would love to talk to you, and I will see you in the next guide.